Hey Jason, I'm here with uh, Lynn and Jim, the world's greatest realtors. Oh so God. I gotta add that little plug in there for them. Hey, we just finished up the inspection, and uh, overall, a couple things need to be addressed. For me, the, the biggest issues would be the electrical distribution panel. It's a Federal Pacific panel. I don't expect that to mean anything to you, but when I see those panels, they have a lot of significant safety issues, which I'll document and report. Bottom line, the panel does need to be replaced. Uh, that's typically about a thousand the $1,500 uh, repair bill to actually swap that panel out. There is also a few electrical issues that need to be dealt with. Uh, one of the bigger concerning ones for me is up in the attic, there's been some critters in the attic and they've actually chewed and gnawed on the wiring. So we have some exposed wiring that could be a safety fire hazard for the house. And also some unusual things like uh, both bathrooms do not have electrical receptacles. So that make it very inconvenient for someone to try to use a hair dryer, electric shaver or something like that. Um, the roof itself, is serviceable. It probably has about three to five years left on, so you'll need to anticipate roof replacement at some point. Um, up in the attic, the insulation in the attic is really, really minimal. Um, there's probably an inch to two inches of insulation. As a, as, as a, for a home like this, you probably have about uh, six to nine inches of insulation. And also for the uh, couple of the appliances, the dishwasher, kind of in an odd remote location, did not operate. It physically ran, but there's no water coming to the dishwasher. And I'm unable to actually locate and identify the water connection for the dishwasher. So it probably have to be pulled to figure out what's going on with that. And the laundry connections for the washer and dryer are also not connected. The, the um, utilities are there, but there's no physical connection between those. And looking at the dryer connection, it's gonna be quite difficult to get a dryer vent connected to where the dryer is and to the wall vent. And once again, I'll have a picture of that in the report. There will also be a handful of smaller things I'll have documented and report for you. Um, but I'll have a report out to you tonight. And when you review that, if you have questions, all my contact information will be on the report. So feel free to give me a call, reach out to me if there's any questions, concerns you have. I appreciate your business again. Thank you very much.